to all today we'll be discussing about the adaptations for the cross pollination now as we know very well that what is the general definition of the cross pollination cross pollination says and suggests that when pollen grains are transferred from anther to stigma of different flowers present on two different plants but of same species is called as the cross pollination but here you will see when we will be studying the adaptations of the cross pollination you will see that in a bisexual flower also the cross pollination can occur right so the very first is the unisexuality now when we were talking about the adaptations for the self pollination we have talked about the monocliny or the bisexuality monocliny or the bisexuality was favoring self pollination but unisexuality or also called as the dicliny actually favors the cross pollination why because in a unisexual flower there may be any one of the reproductive organs either the stamen or either the carpel so we can say that in a unisexual flower cross pollination is a rule means in unisexual flower cross pollination is only possible self pollination is not at all possible so i can say that all the dioecious plants such as the date palm papaya etc will show unisexuality or the dicliny and the dicliny favors cross pollination okay now the second type of the adaptation is dicogamy now think of a bisexual flower which is having male and female reproductive organs but the maturity period of the male and the female reproductive organs that is the stamens and the carpel is different they mature at this at different times so though it is a bisexual flower it will never favor self pollination it will favor cross pollination okay which is called as the dicogamy now dicogamy is of two types one is known as the protogyny another is known as the protoendry or we can say it is protoendry now what is protogyny proto means first gyny means female reproductive organ proto means first endry means male reproductive organ so in simple language i can say that protogyny is a type of the dicogamy in which the female reproductive organ mature before the male reproductive organ and in protoendry what happens the male reproductive organ mature first then the female reproductive organ we can also say like this that here the carpel mature earlier than the stamen and here the stamen or the anthers mature earlier than the carpel means here male reproductive organ is maturing first here female reproductive organ is maturing first so in such case also what will be favored cross pollination will be favored though the flower is bisexual say for protogyny is found in sereca indica that is known as the ashok ficus species means we can say it is people banyan etc all are actually the ficus species and aristolochia okay and we also see that protogyny is found in cruciferi and rosaceae family also okay and protoendry condition is found in sunflower cotton salvia etc okay so we can say dicogamy favors cross pollination and dicogamy is of two type protogyny and protoendry now the third one is hercogamy now what is herco the herco word is actually used for some barrier now think of a bisexual flower now bisexual flower favors the self pollination but here in the case of the hercogamy though the flower is bisexual then also the self pollination will not be favored and cross pollination will be favored why because in some plants there is some morphological barrier formed between the anther and the stigma of the same flower right because of which the transfer of the pollen grains from the anther to the stigma is not possible because a barrier is present in between the anther and the stigma and therefore self pollination is prevented and cross pollination is promoted 
for example calotropis the best example of the hercogemy is the calotropis where a barrier is present between the anther and the stigma and that barrier is called as the gynostegium disc which do not allow the transfer of the pollen grains from anther to stigma in the same flower and therefore cross pollination will be favored in calotropis hercogemy is also found in gloriosa so calotropis and gloriosa are good examples of hercogemy now the fourth case study is the heterostyle here also you will see that flower is bisexual but then also instead of self pollination cross pollination will be favored now what is heterostyle hetero means different now there is a difference in between the length of the filament of stamen and the length of the style in flowers of some plant what happens some plants have long stamens and short style some flowers have long stamens and short style while some flowers in some flowers style is long and stamen is short okay in such case also self pollination is not possible only cross pollination is possible so heterostyle means difference in the length of the stamen and the style if there is difference in the length of the style and the that is we can say it is the filament length then self pollination is not favored cross pollination is favored the best example is the primrose and the linum okay now at the last self sterility what is sterility sterility means not having the fertility power okay so self sterility is also called as self incomplete incompatibility sometimes what happens in a bisexual flower the pollen grains of flower the pollen grains of the flower cannot germinate on the stigma of the same flower means the pollen grains of the same flower are not able to germinate on the stigma of the flower and this condition is called as the self sterility or the self incompatibility because of which the self pollination is prevented and cross pollination is favored self sterility is seen in petunia grapes apple radish passiflora etc okay so this video was based on the adaptations for the cross pollination which favors cross pollination and can prevent the self pollination so thanks a lot for watching uh, if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take